What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Acura Audio Garage. Today we're going to be replacing the speakers on this 2006 TXX and we're just going to be doing the rear speakers. So I actually did one already. I'll show you the procedure on the other side. Let me show you the factory speaker, what it looks like. So here's your factory speaker. Here's your little tiny magnet. This is a 4 ohm speaker. All the speakers in your TSX, your tweeter, your component speaker set here in the door your other speaker in the door and your rear speaker are all four ohms including the tweeter is a four ohm tweeter as well they're about 20 watts rms per channel um, so just when you're looking at speakers make sure you stick to that the only tricky part about removing or installing a new speaker in your tsx it's gonna you're gonna need a speaker spacer so we have these on our store right now they're listed as the Acura TL front speaker spacers. We're gonna also include that they're for the TSX. Um, they work very well in combination with our little inserts. And then the speakers that we got, we're replacing our pair of Kenwoods. As you can see, they're a KFC 1666R and they are 30 watts RMS for ohm. So they're gonna work for what we need it for. It really just rear speakers. So we're going for that rear fill. I'm gonna show you how to take the door panel apart and then stick around in the end. We're gonna talk about some of the products we have upcoming for the TSX. So you wanna stick around for that. All right guys, so to remove the door panel in your TSX to get to the speaker, you're going to need to remove this panel right here. And you're just gonna stick a pry tool and begin popping it up all the way until it comes off. That's gonna reveal two screws, one here and one here. Then the next thing you want to do is just pop this up. So you want to snake, shimmy in there, get it to pop up. And the reason we're doing this is just to make our life easier. It's not necessary, but it makes removing the connector a whole lot simpler. The last thing we have to do is this little door here is hiding two screws. So we're just going to pop that off. I recommend to do that with something with plastic or if you are experienced enough, then you can use a uh, pick tool like this. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in the corner and then pop it towards you. Um, my pick tool, I was able to free this little tab here and then pull it towards me and that reveals my two other screws. This panel is very easy to come off. The last thing you need to be worried about is the door latch cable and I'll show you how to take that off as soon as I get this off. All right guys, now that we got all of our screws out, we're just gonna begin popping from underneath. So we'll stick our pry tool down here and then just begin. We're just gonna stick our pry tool down here and then we're gonna start pulling off. So you can see I got some of it off already. That's really the hardest part is the bottom. Then you're gonna lift up and over this thing right here. And we're just gonna lift over it and then pull towards us. The last thing you wanna be careful about is come around. You can see it there. The last thing you want to worry about is this cable right here. You're going to pull it away and then to free from this, it has a plastic um, clip. You just want to undo it with your finger to release it. And I know that was hard to see, but here's the clip and I'll show it to you in a second. And then you're going to lift this up. So then that allows our door panel to come off. Here's a metal piece that's holding part of the cable. And here's the clip I was talking about that you'd have to remove. So as you can see, it clips onto there. You're just gonna lift up and get the cable out. And just make sure you grab all of your um, panel clips so that you can stick your door panel back on properly. All right guys, to remove this speaker, there's actually no screws. So all you're gonna do is, there's a tab here, a metal tab, you're gonna push down and pop it out and then up. So here's the tab I'm talking about. You're gonna push it down and then you just have your regular on the speaker connector. You're gonna squeeze on both sides and disconnect it. So again, here's the tab at the top. You're gonna to press down. These are inserted, so you're gonna lift up and then you're just gonna squeeze these together, the bottom like so to free it. And now we're gonna grab our spacer and mount that on. So go ahead, stop the wheel. All right guys, so when you receive your spacer, you're gonna get obviously a speaker spacer, but then you're gonna get three inserts and three screws. And what you wanna do is you wanna start these into the adapter. 
you want to start these with your screwdriver and what you're trying to do is just get them to peek a little past the plastic like that so once they begin to do that you can continue to the next one so these three are what's going to mount it to the vehicle so now that those three are kind of set in a little bit we're going to use our inserts you're going to shove come close you're going to shove one in there another one in there and then this one's actually going to be very loose but once the screws in it's going to sit tight so you just want to get it in the middle and now what we want to do is we're going to come down to be eye level with the adapter and the reason why we wanted them to peak is so we can line them up so that one goes there that one goes there and now we're going to start screwing them in so screw a little here and we'll screw a little one screw that one a little bit and then screw the top one a little bit the top one to get it started you might need to hold the back of it like i'm doing now but once it's started it'll be firm enough to hold it and we're just going to continue to sit these all the way down until they're flush all right guys so along uh with the spacer you can order the speaker harness but with your spacer will come four screws to finish mounting the speaker with our harness we're just going to slide on positive to positive positive is always big and um, negative is always small on these speakers. Slide those on. We'll plug this in and mount it. And then the last one. And that's it, guys. I'm going to now put my door panel back. All right, guys, when putting the door panel back on, you're just gonna make sure you slide over this and then everything else should kind of slide into place. You wanna make sure you pull your connector through and then you have those four screws you gotta put back. SX, so you can see we have these spacer adapters to replace the speakers, front, rear. We also have the tweeter harness to replace your tweeter if you want to do that. For your rear six by nines, you can just drop a six by nine in so you don't need any uh, spacer you just need a harness we obviously have all the harnesses to replace all the speakers including the tweeters um, we are working on the amp bypass so you can see that's why that is missing uh, we're almost there it's gonna be ready for production I want to say it should be on our store shipping by the end of December but due to the holidays that might change it might be January and then when it comes to changing your radio um, if you have navigation it's pretty tough uh, to change a radio I've seen people put a radio here I've seen different mods but if you have if you don't have navigation Metro makes a dash kit it's a little funky but you'll fit a double din in there especially like a slim uh, like a DMX 706 from Kenwood or the Alpine ILX there are thinner radios they'll fit real good I've seen other people put a radio here or a single din you can fit a double din here um, you can make kind of your own dash kit. We'll see if we kind of develop any products for this. This is already done by other companies, so it may not be worth it. But if there's a specific, there is a specific application you'd like uh, for us to explore, leave it in the comments. And then that's really it. Um, speakers, amp. Uh, we're going to see if we can do a plug and play amp for this. It's going to be tricky with the two subs in the rear. Well, your 6 by 9s only play low uh, and but uh we're gonna explore some of the options as we have the tsx in the shop if there's anything audio wise you'd like to see make sure you leave it in the comments um and that's really gonna be it for the video so so that's gonna be it for this video guys we installed rear speakers in the tsx make sure you're subscribed we're gonna be doing the front soon including the tweeters uh, we're also might be doing something to the rears we'll see so make sure you stay tuned for that as always make sure you like the video and we appreciate you watching